It was April 27, 2011, and Mary Ruth Ellis had left her house for a quick trip to town to pay her electric bill. When she returned, her home of more than 50 years, built by her late husband, had taken a direct hit. I can't think, I can't believe that I don't have a home to go to anymore. Although the tornado destroyed her house, it did not destroy her spirit or her faith. That night, God gave me peace, and it has been with me through every bit of this. She was able to salvage a few personal items from the destruction, like her favorite Bible, a bookcase, and a photo album. For the next few months, Mary Ruth lived in a FEMA trailer on the site where her home once stood. She had no insurance, but the ministry known as Eight Days of Hope mobilized volunteers from the area, state, and country. Less than six months after the tornado, Mary Ruth was in her new home. And everything that that tornado took away, the Lord has replaced it. And you can see, <laughs> you can see what's here. It's just beautiful. Now she proudly shows visitors around her place. And I love my shower, that big walk-in shower. Along with a new house, she also received furniture for every room and several churches even pitched in and got her a new car. I, I didn't have to ask for anything. It was just here. People just brought, they just brought everything I needed. And in her backyard, a storm shelter. In fact, storm shelters are now common in this area. So, I got it. <laughs> and I wouldn't take nothing for it. Well, if the wind is strong, I go get in it. Just around the corner, Mary Ruth's cousin, Doris Hill, had planned to place flowers on her late husband's grave on that April afternoon. It was something she did every year on his birthday. But as the tornado sirens started going off, Earl Lewis rushed over to check on his longtime friend. He and his family call Aunt Doris. That thing was in the back lot right here. I told my wife and her to run to the bathroom. I'd never been that close to one. Don't ever want to be that close. But that thing looked like it had little fingers around it. Although her home wasn't destroyed, the tornado blew out all of her windows tore off part of the roof and heavily damaged two bedrooms. It took four months to rehab and renovate Doris's home. Now, nearly a year later, she says the community is stronger and people seem to be more thankful for what they have. I was blessed that my house wasn't blown completely away. There are still a few signs of the tornado's destruction, but for Doris Hill and Mary Ruth Ellis, the events of April 27, 2011, have reinforced lessons they've learned throughout their life and also have strengthened their core beliefs. And I'm here and have some wonderful neighbors out here that the Lord has provided. So, you know, I'm just so blessed. I'm just so blessed and so grateful and so thankful. In Oklahoma, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.